Hello and welcome to this uh, podcast uh, episode number one, Stories about Finland. Uh, this episode uh, describes a small interesting story about Arne Jutilainen, who carried uh, the nickname The Horror of Morocco due to his uh, French foreign legion background. He served in the French foreign legion from 1930 to 1935. He's one of the uh, legendary military figures of uh, Finnish military history. And so let's begin. I have, uh, well, let me tell you first shortly uh, uh, why I am doing this in English. Uh, during the last year or so, I have noticed that there's an increasing interest of uh, hearing, seeing, reading uh, stories about Finnish history, Finnish military history and not much of uh, English sources and there's a lot of untold stories in English and I decided I'm gonna start to tell uh, some of these stories and let's begin. This is uh, my translation my version of uh, wireless radio journalist Tauno Majoris interviewed interview about uh, Arne Jutilainen this was made in December 19 1939 so during the winter war uh, win those of you who don't know winter war started on November 13th when Soviet troops launched the unprovoked act attack against Finland. So let's begin. So Tauno Majuri starts. Now here are here at the front line while I've been walking with the microphone. I met by a luck or was switched from his own duties. The horror of Morocco, or like in civil, he's been called Utilina. I now ask him to tell his activities here and his men and generally anything of his men's actions and so on. Now, Lieutenant, tell us freely what was just said. And you, Dylan, in response. Well, can't say anything special, but first, boys are wondering that when these extra refresher training exercises end and when the war going to start. Second of all, boys have been fighting since the first fighting day, and I'm completely satisfied for these sinners. The great majority of company uh, company's men are from Rautjärvi and some boys from Merikarvia. Boys are equally good. What comes to co-op with the, another branches, we've been coping very well, so with the artillery, grenade launcher company, or with the and the tank artillery boys. Everyone are called good boys. Tauno Majoris. Well, some events, some special adventure or difficult mission you have executed. Tell us about that. Utilan in response. Well, there hasn't been anything difficult or something strange, but uh, it made a bit laugh when was it on 14th when we destroyed five attack tanks uh, when. And when one stopped, boys, three of them, went to scratch the tank from the hatch with the bayonets. And Ruskies tried to hang on the hatch, trying to keep it closed. When the boy, when boys took off the bayonets, Ruskies opened the open up the hatch and hatch a bit and threw a hand grenade. They managed to throw the fourth, but the when they tried tried peek the fifth time, the boys threw a grenade inside the tank in, in exchange. But the Ruskies didn't chew anymore. 
هون مري يا ها يا ها تلانين كده كاري اون ذات واز فور 500 متر اواي فروم هير ات كان بي سين اون ذير رايت افتر ذا كير ذا اتاك تانك تاون ما يوري سيز يا ها يا ها So I was just asking about your artillery hunting trips. Isn't that you have been having those? At least I have heard so. You the line in response. Well, we've been taking five Molotovs and one field cannon with the uh, front wagons. Down on my So the that Molotov is uh, you the line in response. It is those Ruskies long distance firing 45 millimeter. Very good cannon, but uh, from three cannon, Ivan managed to take the locks off. Uh, but from two of those, Ruskies have been fired themselves. Even now, one is in a position. Town of Mayuri continues. Yeah, so own dogs are biting. Yes, and with their own ammo, of course. We don't need anything from ammo stock. Well, pistol ammo, Utilana response, and uh, Mayuri. Uh, carry on. So you are getting everything from yourself from the neighbor. Well, we've been giving some stuff to others to six heavy machine guns, around about 30 rabbit ri- fire rifle and other trash. Pistols and others and so on and so forth are from Ruskies. Good stuff they have. Ultimate response. And Tauno Mayuri continues asking by the way in the middle of everything i see that you have a band-aid on your cheekbone is there something hitting on it and you the line responds well yeah it was was it the day before yesterday or when but uh, then we only got all you know four heavy machine guns and some other small trash well yeah that one grenade snapple scratched uh, a bit Yeah, yeah, so uh, uh, Mayuri continues and Utilani continues to explain. So that the dining room's equipment are a bit sore and I cannot chew a bread, but boys have already paid it back to the Ivan. Tano Mayuri continues. Yeah, so that was a short term debt. Yeah, but right away I could pay it myself too, says Utilani. Yeah, yeah, Mayuri. Uh, on the background, by the way, there's a senior officer of uh, um uh, interrupting a conversation a bit. And well, there's something little on the food as well, uh, says Mayor. Um, the says, Yeah, but uh, because I haven't gave a good fur coat, so have to have the same type of slipper too. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have a. Uh, Yeah, shoemaker did a slipper. And down on my Yuri show that the third coat is from Ivan. Yeah. So that the fashion <laughs> down on my Yuri tries to continue, but the Yulti line and intro was a bad luck. They only had a two of these in the entire company. They gave both of them for us and they gave us. Uh, Three heavy machine guns and two guns, cannons at the same time, and Utilan and uh, continue. yeah, and some other small trash, so that the fashion would stay on. There has been a place slipper to the right foot, uh, ask uh, Majoria Utilan and says, Do the right foot slipper so it is equally looking with the fur coat when others admiring the fur coat? And Matauno Mayuri says, I think there's uh, so there uh, uh, Utilana's superior officer saying admitting uh, that the, there's a little wound in the foot uh, and Utilana says well yeah I think there's two but they are very small ones and my yeah so they don't last long so and Utilana says yeah but I have rocking chair in a tent which we place on top of the hill And I have a sniper rifle, so it ends well. Down on my continues. Yeah, so Lieutenant is sitting on his rocking chair on a hill, and Utilan interrupts again. No, I haven't been there yet, but there it is. There, if there's a hard situation coming and boys need help, if there's a rush. It is now in a tent and just move, just need to move uh, 10 meters and it's on a hill. Boys will put it on stand. 
so that was about it uh, sorry there was a little interruption by my daughter so uh forgive me uh so this uh, little interview describes uh, a bit of uh, Yulti Linen's style and uh, uh, attitude and uh, courage. And uh, well, if you want to hear more about him uh, and some other stories, if you wish to hear story of somebody else if you have some specific uh, story uh, person in mind uh, uh, which you would like to hear uh, i'm more than happy to share there's more stories coming up so please subscribe share the uh, stories with your friends if you think that somebody wants to hear these stories too and push the like button of course so let me wrap this uh, episode by saying through the gray rock we go no matter what we will continue the stories stay tuned